name is Edward Cornwell. I'm Beth Sutton. My name is Lisa Newman. My name is Henri Ford. My name is Ramana Hasnain Winia. I'm uh, Michael Zinner. I'm Stephen Stain. I'm David Hoyt. I'm the Executive Director of the American College of Surgeons and I oversee the operations of the college and was uh, helpful in, in trying to get this going initially by working with Dr. Britt. Dr. Britt, um, when he was president in his presidential address, made the comment that you cannot have quality without access. And we were starting a campaign on quality that we then ran over the next three years. And when he made that comment, it just resonated, I think, with many of us that this was a fundamental problem that we needed to address. We have a multi-trillion dollar uh, industry. No, there's no other multi-trillion dollar industry in, in America. But we have the greatest healthcare disparities of any industrialized country. That's unacceptable. Before in the literature, had always we, we, we always thought that it was mostly in the medical field, but never really thought that uh, in, in surgery this would um, be an issue. Uh, and so it was a no-brainer for me to be you know, interested in a collaboration to explore further um, surgical disparities in, in outcomes. We have assembled a really outstanding group leadership from the various federal agencies that we feel could really have an impact and, and pro provide some information which will be valuable for this research agenda. It's often very hard to study and understand how do, not only do, how, how do our systems work and lead to disparities, but how do we change the systems in demonstrable evidence-based ways that actually reduce the disparities. Over the last two days, we spent many, many hours trying to determine what are the most important issues that need to be studied to mitigate surgical disparities. And I'm very proud uh, to say that I think we were very successful in doing this. We started uh, in the morning on May 7th. We worked all day long, came up with nearly four or 500 different research questions that could be studied across five different themes. And this work was done by about 50 of the most preeminent surgeons and scientists from around the country. And they were aided by a army of staff, research assistants, uh, and research fellows who helped get all of this process done. Those uh, research ideas, they were all collated overnight. And the next day, there was great lively debate about what's the top thing to study uh, and how to prioritize things. And the group did a great job, and they stayed on task. They prioritized things top one, two, three, four, five uh, for each of the different themes. And we now, I think, have a very formidable research agenda that both the National Institutes of Health and the National Institute of Minority Health and Disparity and the American College of Surgeons will be very proud of. This has been incredible. This is historic to have such leaders, um, deans and vice presidents and professors of, of surgery and chair of surgeries in, in, in the various medical schools and, and hospitals. I do think this is a exciting couple of days because you're bringing the entire research capability of the NIH along with the entire community of people that the American College of Surgeons brings together. I'd like to come back to the ACS leadership and see if this is a, a, an initiative that we might want to do using multiple mechanisms. The R01 grant, a, a small grant, which is the R03, that allow us to look at some feasibility studies. And then I'd like to see us support maybe a U13, which is a, a conference grant that that would represent a collaborative corporate agreement between ACS and uh, NIH that would allow us to develop some additional high priority areas moving forward. Because I don't think this is something that we can get accomplished in one, three to five years. I think it needs to be something that goes over time. So we need this conference grant mechanism or something in place that allows us to continue the dialogue. In this nation in particular, we have the means to eliminate disparities if we put ourselves to it. I hope this will be a template for other organizations to partner with the NIHs and maybe the CDCs and all of that. I want this to start a movement. I want this to be the beginning of a movement.